So a lot more Target customers are planning to sue the retailer over the massive credit card breach. Now, federal law required that company to inform shoppers that it was hacked. But guess this, if the Obamacare website gets hacked, well, a new report says good luck finding out because the health care law does not require the government to report it. And Rich says that is putting America's most personal information at risk. Explain, Rich. Yeah, really in two ways, David. I mean, number one, look at what this administration has done through the IRS, through the NSA, and through other agencies to spy on Americans. So you have that risk from the government itself. And then you have the hacker risk. Uh, hacker or security experts like John McAfee months and months ago warned about how porous Obamacare is. So uh, that for hackers to come in and steal accounts and steal information uh, is a real threat. It's not only a real threat, it's happened, Mark. Uh, the the H DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, has reported 16 times there have been cyber attacks on this information. Well, I'm not aware of that, David. I think we're, what we really should be looking at is protecting people's private information as a result of business, mining our private data, and then selling but what us. About that that's we don't the, want that's and the, tracking shouldn't we us. And also, government, too. Hold on. But, okay, government as but, well. You're willing to, to is, sign on to that. I am, but this is fear mongering. There hasn't been a problem with the Obamacare site. Wow. And so why are we why are we even worried about this when we have genuine problems related to NSA okay, Sabrina, spying let and me relating explain. to that's business? A, that's your Big question business. and let me answer your question. The reason why we do is because not only has has a DHS warned that it's happened, but we also have, have anecdotes. The, uh, the Minneapolis Star Tribune noted that there was an insurance broker who received an email containing information on 2,400 people who would signed up for MN Shore, the exchange in Minnesota. 2,400 people had information like Social Security numbers, uh, personal business information exchanged with somebody outside the system. That's dangerous. Absolutely. And we know that, for instance, in Vermont, there was another instance the week of Thanksgiving where somebody hacked into the system to show just how vulnerable that state exchange is. And we know that we have more than a dozen uh, attorneys generals from around the country who have written to, to Secretary Sebelius imploring her to do more to make sure that those navigators, those people who are supposed to be helping people navigate the website, that they actually go through proper background checks. And the secretary has not done any of that. We know that many of these people, some of them are good, but some of them have been sort of chosen haphazardly and they have all sorts of access to our personal information. So unfortunately, I think that identity theft is not going to be just a side effect. It is a yeah. symptom of this, of this law. And Steve, now people under the force of law are being compelled to put information that may not be safe into these exchanges. Yeah, and young people aren't going to do it, and it's going to be an election issue next right. year. And this, this law is hurting the most vulnerable. The most vulnerable are going to go on those exchanges to get the insurance. Uh, they're the ones who can't protect themselves. So it's an outrage. John, that's, that's a great point. The fact that the, a lot of the younger people who aren't going to do it or who have been reluctant to do it are, are, are pulling back. But it's the older folks who are less computer savvy. They're really going get, to get hurt by this. Well, you know, it's another very troubling aspect of the Obamacare law, but what's interesting here is I think the private sector is going to bail the Obama administration out. When in the private sector, when we open up a bank account or we get a credit card, we are essentially buying identity theft protection. If our withdrawals look funny, if our charge patterns look funny, they shut down those accounts to protect us until we can explain the charges. And so assuming the ACA pursues a sieve uh, for private information, it will oddly enough be the private sector that saves individuals from the Obama administration. EMAC, will the private sector come charging to the defense of, yeah. uh, of our privacy? And it's a funny twist. Remember the president said to the private sector, hey, you didn't build that. Well, now That's the true. private sector can say to the president, <laughs> you didn't build that correctly. So That's we're going to have to step in. But here's the thing. We've got Representative Diane Black, Republican out of yes. Tennessee, saying that, you know what, the government should tell Americans when and exactly when and how they were hacked into if they're hacked into on those health care sites. I can't believe it's come to this. We're only, we're only just rolled out the law, and we're talking about people's household income and their personal information now getting hacked into. That's stunning. And, and David, they were warned in advance that this was going to be a huge problem, right. and they ignored it. If you did that in the private sector, you'd be drowning in lawsuits. Well, Rich, you're in Silicon and Valley. You know the computer industry very well. Is, is there a way out of this? Is there a way to build the firewalls uh, for a system like this? 
Uh, not, uh, probably not. I mean, what might save Obamacare is that it's so unsuccessful that the hackers won't have that many targets. But I, you know, I say that somewhat facetiously. Steve is absolutely right. The vulnerable people are, are the older people. Uh, you can just see the kind of fraudulent reverse mortgage plays and, and things like that to separate uh, older people from what remaining assets they have. Coming up next, this year's countdown of the ball drop could just...